my name is Quang. I'm very happy to be here to share with you about the benefits of meditation. <laughs> Meditate. <laughs> <laughs> I myself have been practicing meditation for 10 years and teaching for a few years. Also now I'm the leader of meditation club at Seminole State College. I teach many meditation courses. Here yeah, many Hong Kongers came to listen to me. And here he is in uh, Florida. I lead um, kids walking meditation. <laughs> um, I would like to invite you to see the list 100 spiritual leaders all over the world. Just last month, let's see what in magazine presents the list with three main criteria. Yes, the first the person has to be alive. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> but in fact, uh, to be alive is something very happy. <laughs> Third, the person is frequently Google. <laughs> it's not mm, hard. But the second, the person has to have made a unique and spiritual contribution on a global scale. Yes. And here, you see the, the list. We don't have time to share, but um, here we, we can see many uh, meditation experts, such as John Kabat-Zinn, yes, um, Achan Bram Mavanso, or Jack Conkill, yeah. But now uh, we don't have time, so we, we just see the first, the Dalai Lama, mm -hmm. yes, uh, a person from Tibet. And the second, the Pope Francis, yes, he's very famous and he's respected by at least one billion people around the world. The third is Eckhart Tolle from Canada and the fourth is Thich Nhat Hanh, my master who has been teaching meditation to me for 10 years. Um, the first, I don't know whether the Pope meditates, but the first, the third and the fourth, Three of them, they, they have been meditating for many years. <coughs> so they become the, the absolute leaders. That you see, the Dalai Lama. Yes, many thousands of people gather to listen to him. Also, my master, Thich Nhat Hanh, he leads many thousands of people walking meditation peacefully. Yes, currently we are very busy, yes, to study, to work, but um, we still have enough time to meditate. Like Professor Martha here, she too busy, but she meditates regularly. <coughs> Why? Just because, yes, there are two main benefits of meditation. The first, meditation enhances happiness and well-being. The second, meditation reduce is suffering. The first enhances happiness. Dear friends, 10, 10 years ago, Wisconsin University had a special machine that can calculate the level of positive thoughts that reveal from one's brain. So they invited many people to join the experiment and find out. Yes, everyone has their own level of happiness and they see a um, person with mm, higher level of happiness mm, and he meditated so they invited many uh, meditators to join and they see the the same result the higher levels than others it's a nice surprise so they tried to invite many long-term meditators who had been meditating for more than 10,000 hours. They were ex experts, yes. And they see the same result. Uh, the, the, the higher level of happiness than others who didn't meditate anymore. Among of them, yes. Mm, Martin Ricard, 
join the experiment. Yes, it's very complicated experiment. Um, Richard Davidson, yes, he the close friend of Professor Martha <coughs> here. Yes, he, he tried to put it on the school many hundred of sensors. It's a sophisticated experiment. Yes. And finally, a scientist declared that they find out the happiest man in the world. Yeah. He now have met Martin Ricard. Mm, I met him <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago in an international conference. He revealed peace, inner joy, and also happiness. The, the, we can by practicing meditation Martirika becomes the happiest man in the world and for many of us if we meditate the first benefit is that we, we can gain more concentration so we can drive safe <coughs> we can drive in safety <laughs> and car traffic um, rarely happen. And moreover, when we meditate, we can pay attention more so that we can study better. If you want to study or research or use your intellect to work, you should meditate. Now the second benefit of meditation reduce suffering. Yes, meditation decreases stress. Um, after a um, semester, many students feel stressed and they can release stress by practicing meditation in a meditation retreat. If we let the stress accumulate to ourselves too much, for a long time, some serious thing may happen. Yes, I might couldn't get crazy, <laughs> or the the cancer can appear to the body. Yes, meditation can come <coughs> strong emotion. A few years ago. Um, in my previous university in Vietnam, I saw many students, they beat each other violent, violently. Even though it was the best university in my country, Vietnam, but the students, they didn't know how to control, how to control the anger. After that, I went to meditate in the mountain with 400 meditators and I didn't see they beat each other anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just they, they, they did argue strongly, but they didn't beat each other. So I know, in, not in the theory, but in my own experience, that meditation can calm down the strong emotion, such as violence. And one, after a retreat I opened in Vietnam, my country, I received a phone call from a man to say thank you by practicing your meditation my son can quit playing video games <laughs> <laughs> if you have your little brother who always plays video games bring him to the meditation center <laughs> <laughs> also meditation can release one from despair my friend after a retreat I opened in my country, I, I, I received an email from a graduate girl. She, she said, mm, I was going to commit suicide. Life was so suffering. But when I was going to drink sleeping pills to sleep, Forever, I recognize that I joined a retreat, a meditation retreat. Not full time, just part time, just a few hours. The full time is three days. But um, 
I felt something fit something. So I postponed that harmful will to register another retreat. In the retreat I practiced diligently. And then right now I am writing the letter to you to say thank you by your meditation, by your teaching. I know I, that I am still so suffering, but the, the wonder supply by practicing meditation, I can know inside of me and around. Yes, and it's worthy to live in this world. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your meditation that rescued me. Let's go back. Further study text so that even practicing little meditation just 20 minutes a day for three weeks increase the level of happiness. Yes, it's easy. And right now I would like to invite all of you please practice meditation just for a few minutes. Yes, you relax your body and mind and see how to feel comfortable. Don't feel stressed. Lightly close your eyes. Breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. In, out. We use the, we use the mind to observe the breath. We don't need to push or pull the breath, just observe it as it is. When we are aware that the mind is wandering, it's okay. We try to go back to observe the in and out breath. Meditation is something that we bring the mind back to the body and live in the present moment. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Uh, I would like to invite you to use your cell phone to take picture about the books that I would like to suggest. Yes, here is the book from the, the Art of Meditation, written by Matthew Descartes, the happiest man. <laughs> and also, also, this is the Dalai Lama's book of daily, daily meditation. Yes, yeah. the number one on the list. Here is a guide to walking meditation, written by Thich Nhat Hanh, my master, who was nominated for his Nobel Prize by Martin Luther King in the year 1967. Awesome. I would like to show my appreciation to the Southern Regional Honors Council for supporting me the opportunity to speak with you today. Also, I would like to thank Barbara Greenwell, the director of the Honors Program at Seminole State College. She liked this sentence. Meditation is like the gym in which you develop the powerful mental muscles of calm and insight.
Thanks for your listening. Okay, we have plenty of time for.